Uh, my name is Tyro Badebo, so I'm going to be a math teacher for today. So we're going to look at the subject, as you can see, continuation of our polygon from the um, present classes we've been taking. So the reason why I need to still stick to this topic, we have some diagram that we need to solve together. So we're going to look at this diagram. The first thing that will come to our mind, what kind of a shape is this? First thing, you need to count the edges. One, are you doing the counting? Two, three, four, five. That's how many sided um, side is that? That's five sided uh, shape. And five sided shape will be taken for what? Pentagon. I am, I'm not saying pentagon, it's pronounced pentagon. Now, pentagon has five sides. A triangle has three sided side shape, pardon me. Um, quadrature has four sides. So the fifth one will be what? Pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. If the sides are six, I'll count it as six. That's hexagon. If the size are seven, the edges, you know, heptagon, but this is one, two, three, four, five. Can you, are you with me? So it has five sides. So solution is going to come out here. So the first thing, you count the side as we've counted five. The end, the side, the number of sides, one, two, three, four, five is what? Five. Are you with me? Now for we to get the degree, you know, you need to get the degree. Now for we to get the degree, we're going to use some of, of a polygon. Some of side of a polygon, or you can write some of a polygon. Some of side into bracket n minus two. That's a basic formula times one hundred and eighty. Are you with me at all? Thanks for what I'm doing. So I need to inculcate this. Now, since I've added this, I need to substitute substitute the value value of five. That is, anywhere I can cite n, I'll put the 5 in. So into bracket n, n means 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 minus 2. Can you see? 2 bracket times only. I need to get the degree. The degree of the figure itself. So 5 take away 2 will fetch for 3. 180 times 3 is going to give us 540 degree. Let's prove. 180, 3, 0, 3 times 0, this time is 24. I put down the 4. I'm going to put 5 as you can see. Let me write it both. Do you understand I got the 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Inside, sum of a polygon. This is a basic formula. So I'll now substitute it to get the degree. So 5 take away to give us 3. 180 times 3. 0, 3. Can you see? 3 times 24, carry 1. This time this. That's um, 3 plus 2. That's 5. So I have 5. 540 degree. I've gotten it. Now, the next thing I need to do here is to bring out all the sum. The sum, things that I have inside, I have 150 degree, as you can see. Yeah, this, um, it like a, um, sorry, we have cardinal point. Each of these cardinal points indicates 90, 90. So the symbol you are seeing there means what? 90 degree. Are you with me? Whenever a ship has Anything that has this shape, it means what? 90 degree. So 150 degree plus what? 90 degree. Are you with me? Plus how many x? X. Triple x. As an x in three places. One, two, three. I quote again. 150 degree. This indicates 90. The sign you are seeing there in cardinal points. 90. So then the total of it that I've gotten, that's the number of sum of sides. Sum is what? 500 and 540 degree equal to 540 degree. Let's test this up. Let's add this together. Uh, 150 plus 90, 0. This plus this will give us 4. Take away 1. Then we add this. That's 2. That is 24, as you can see. We have 240 degree plus x plus x plus x will give us triple x. Let's make testing up with it. They are degrees. Then we have 540 degrees. They are called degrees. Let's see. Now let's collect up the light terms. Collect up the light terms. You know what I'm doing? Trying to bring them together. Light terms. That's just what I'm doing. Like an equation. So 3x equal to, I added the x together. 3, they can be added. Now 540 degree minus 240 degree. 3x degree equal to 540 degree. As you can see. You can also get your job to and do the same thing now. Oh, this will go with this. I'm trying to subtract zero. This will give me three. So I have 300 degree. In mathematics, whenever anyone has an alphabet, you know, dividing both sides, 
is called dividing both sides. You know what I'm saying? The equation is not side by which one has an alpha root 3. I know you understand. I've taught the equation. So 3x equal to 300 degree dividing both sides by the 3. Because the side both sides by 3. Pardon me. This will go with this. Eliminate that. So when we cross this, we have 100 degree. So the value for the x are 100 degree. So do you understand that now? I counted 5. I wrote it down. Some of these I used to got 540. That's if it is 6 side, you write 6, you subtract it. So when you subtract that for 4 times 180, whatever you have, you use it, you collate everything together. The sign here means 90 degrees. Like when I give you from the previous class, I know you can solve that with this now. So thank you. I would love to drop a take home. Thank you. I would love to drop um, a take home as assignment. I don't mean I'm used to that word. It's called assignment. This is a cardinal point. Let me remove the cardinal point. You know what I'm doing? So what is the value? Of n in the figure, abbreviation of this, we have 120 degree m m degree two degree. I told you this indication is 90. You know I said that. Uh, for you to know the number of side, like what I've done the other time, one, two, three, four, five, n m equal n equal to five. You use some of the polygon, which is into bracket n minus two, close bracket and so on. It's easy to get the figure, the degree first. But after you've gotten that, add everything together equal to it, like what I did. I know you can do that. The internal angles of pentagon, I sound pentagon, not pentagon, are this. You count one, two, three, four, five. You are lucky five sided. You use it as well to get the sum of, to get the degree, which is five n equal to five, sum n to bracket two minus two bracket times 180. Like one add that, you use it to get the degree, then equal to, then you now add all this, this plus this plus this plus this plus this, equal to, then whatever you got, so you collate them together, get the value of y. As you can see, find the value of each interior angle, interior angle I told you, minus whatever you've gotten, 180 minus divided by 360, that's all. So thank you, stay blessed, keep the physical distance, next class. Bye -bye.